Big tech is hiding something in plain sight. They are adding autonomous agents to the workforce. And now there's a different shift that's underway. It's the shift from human intelligence to AI, artificial intelligence. Basically what this means is, as AI is beginning to grow, they're adding something called autonomous agents to the workforce where they can do work as well. But the difference is, the 24 hours a day, and you can control the cost. AI assistants are now doing the work of 700 full-time agents at Klarna. They moved issue resolving times from 11 minutes with humans to two minutes with AI. Let's break down exactly how they're gonna do this. Their whole goal is about creating productivity. When they were asked the question of how do you pay for this? And so far their AI has had 2.3 million conversations accounting for two thirds of Klarna's customer support chats. Its AI agent will drive, wait for it, a $40 million increase in profits this year. And with some words of inspiration, uh, what's interesting and not obvious is that you guys building AI agents are actually at the forefront of capability of AI agents today. Um, and all the big labs, like L LLM labs, like OpenAI and DeepMind and so on, I suspect are not at the edge of the capability. You are at the forefront of it. If machines are better than any task than we are, then the machines become more economically useful than we are. The future doesn't need us. But where Mr. Musk sees an existential threat in AGI, others see AGI as a source of profit and power. What happens to the animators, the people that made things like Toy Story? In 2022, there were 2 million animators globally making $75,000 a year on average. But also, here's an animated scene featuring a close-up of a short fluffy monster kneeling beside a melting red candle. Does that mean we don't need an entire studio of 3D graphics animators? I don't know. They also did talk about they're developing another class of AI agent that would handle web-based tasks, such as gathering public data about a set of companies, creating itineraries under a certain budget, or booking flights. Said a person with knowledge of that effort. And Google and Meta have said they are developing similar types of agents. In this video, we're going to see if Claude and a couple of friends can help us analyze the world economy. Here you can see it's written this prompt and given very precise instructions that it wants the other models to follow, including a format for the data that it's hoping to return. It's dispatched a version of this prompt to one model that's going to look at the US, one for China, one for Germany, Japan, and so on. And we can see in these progress bars that the subagent models are now completing the set task for each of the individual economies. They're going to the relevant web pages, they're getting the information, they're running the code to analyze it, just like we saw in the previous US example, but all in parallel. So there we have it. Complex, multi-step, multi-modal analysis run by a model that can create sub-agents to get even more tasks running in parallel. So let's break down the cost analysis on this. A typical NVIDIA GPU costs $40,000, right, at its peak. Now, the price varies. But if you think about it, the cost of electric, right? Because the GPU, a NVIDIA, NVIDIA H100, is about 700 watts. And if I say, well, that's equivalent to about a household in a year, that's about two to five thousand dollars a year. So if I put the cost of one GPU, right, that literally is connected to about three thousand to five thousand dollars a year, right? So I say five thousand dollars. That's forty-five thousand dollars. Now, if I superpose the compute on top of that, because I want it to do autonomous work for me, right? That's an additional $20,000 a year. Now, if I take the grand cost of that, that's $65,000. Now, that's $65,000 of one GPU. And say that one GPU, plus all that together, is the equivalent of one person doing a level of work at a job, doing all the different functions. If that's the case, then those are the trade-offs. That's what the money is. That's how you make money. You're not comparing it to some offset product. They're comparing it to the equivalent work that someone else is doing. The goal at the end of all this is to create completely make sophisticated AI systems that are able to do the same level of work on par with people. Let's give further analysis on this. Value. What is value? Value is basically risk times scale, right? If you, let me give an example of that. If you take a doctor, a surgeon, right, who is about to do a surgery, that is extremely high risk 
if I had a, a risk curve from zero to one, right? That is up against like seven or eight, maybe even nine, right? Where most people are li literally less than like one. It is very difficult for an AI to do something like that without legal or ramifications or problems associated with that. So most AI is not dealing with that. Most AI is dealing with low risk, high scale problems, much like capital markets. Most high hedge funds have high scale billions of dollars and would take low risk actions to create their value. If they have a 6% upside with a 2% risk, they'll take those odds, right? Get the, cause their risk is low, but the, the value in that is high. These AI companies, as they begin to increase their LLMs, their large language models, as they become better, they are able to climb the risk curve, right? Cause scale's already there. Scale is built out through compute. Think about it. If you think about this, GPUs is the scale. LLMs is the risk. You combine that, you create value, such as paying off your taxes or creating content. So what's the timeline on this? The timeline is short. We have about two year time period. I looking at the analysis of this from 2020 to 2026. Now it's 2024. And what they're doing is they're continuing to build out the LLMs that is increasing the risk. So right now the agents are built up using just standard code and LLMs and they perform some actions. That's the sophistication we have now. What's gonna happen is OpenAI, who recently said they entered in the agent business, along with their AGI, is working on their iPhone 16, as they put it. Basically, they don't want to come out with a small iterative product. They want to come out with a product that blows the socks off everyone's feet. Meaning, if I was to project what they're going to work on right now um, in two big phases, the first phase is going to come out with a GPT-5 or 6, whatever version you're going to have, with these fully autonomous agents that will perform significant amount of tasks that could render some people, you know, challenged in the workplace. Now, companies won't embrace this at first, right? Because it threatens everyone at all levels, right? Management and big management. But their next one in 2026, it's gonna be significant. And it says the next stage of QSTAR originally GPT-6, but since renamed GPT-7, originally for release in 2026, has been put on hold because of the recent lawsuit by Elon Musk. If you haven't been paying attention to the space, essentially Elon Musk just filed a lawsuit, released a video yesterday, um, stating that OpenAI have strayed far too long from their goals and if they are creating some really advanced technology public do deserve to have it open source because that was their original goal where are you in this where am i in this i'll be honest basically what they're doing is they're adding people to the workforce you need to multiply yourself as well why do they get the fact to devalue people so there's two things that most people want to do they want to build their own agents that are able to support them a multiplier because really that's what we need. If they're gonna put more people into the workforce, quote unquote, autonomous agents, then you need to also have the same thing. And number two, the other thing is being able to invest. Now I'm not a big believer in saying you should invest in companies, but what I would say is the gap will grow and they will begin to grow substantially because here's the thing, their goal is to make a GPU plus a you know autonomous agent package as an individual within a workforce to counter that is trying to be able to increase your value by increasing yourself multiplying yourself but basically having agents that do work for you small agents that do work on your behalf to support you multiply yourself by five and that gives you a lot of leverage you think it's crazy but a lot of people are already doing this then maybe we should also have that same leverage.